Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will design and analyze the Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law using the Multisim tool. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. So, the Kirchhoff's current law states that the sum of currents entering a node equals to the sum of currents leaving the same node. So, let us analyze this and simulate this using the following circuit. Click on source and we have to click on power source and select the DC power for this particular circuit design and place this particular DC power on the schematic window. Now we have to place the resistor for this particular design. So click on basic. Select the resistor and place a 3 kilo ohm resistor on the schematic window. Now we have to place other two different resistor for this particular design. So place a 4 kilo ohm resistor on the schematic window and next we have to place a 6 kilo ohm resistor on the schematic window. Now in order to determine the current across the resistor R1, R2 and R3, we have to place an ammeter. So click on the group as indicator and place this particular ammeter on the schematic window. So we have to place the ammeter, 3 ammeters across the resistor R1, across the resistor R2 and across the resistor R3. Now we can rotate this particular ammeter. Now click on place source and we have to place the ground connection. So click on ground connection and place this particular ground on the schematic window. Now connect the voltage V1 to the amp meter U4 and connect the negative terminal of V1 to the ground connection from resistor R1 to the ground connection and from the amp meter U4 to amp meter U1 and from amp meter U2 to the amp meter U1 and from amp meter U3 to the amp meter U2 and connect the resistor R2 and R3 to the ground connection. Now 
let us run this particular simulation in order to understand the Kirchhoff's current law. So you can see the various current across various nodes. So let us realize that. We know that the voltage at the ground node is 0 volt and the voltage at node 1 connecting V1, R1, R2, R3 is 12 volt. So we will apply the Ohm's law and we can calculate the current I2, I3 and I4 accordingly. You can see that according to the Ohm's law, the current I2 is equal to 4 milli and I3 is equal to 3 milliamperes and I4 is equal to 2 milliamperes and this matches with the simulated result what we have done in this particular tutorial. When we apply KCL the current entering the node 1 must equal the current leaving the node. So you can see that the current is 9 milliamperes and the current which is leaving across the node is 4 milliampere, 3 milliampere and 2 milliampere. So now let us analyze and simulate the Kirchhoff's voltage law. So what is the Kirchhoff's voltage law states? The sum of voltage drop around a loop equals the sum of voltage rises of the same loop. Click on source and select the source and select the DC power. Place this particular DC power on the schematic window. Next select the group as basic and we have to select the resistor for this particular design. Now we must place a 4 kilo ohm, 6 kilo ohm and 8 kilo ohm resistor. So place the resistor accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial. Next we have to place the ground connection. So select the group as source and select the ground and place this particular ground on the schematic window. Now we have to make the connections. So connect the terminal positive terminal of B1 to resistor R1 and from resistor R1 to resistor R2 and from resistor R2 to R3 and from R3 to the ground connection and the negative terminal of source to the ground. Now let us change the voltage supply to 9 volt for this particular design. Now click on simulate, click on instrument, select the multimeter, place this particular multimeter across resistor R1, across resistor R2 and across resistor R3 as shown in this particular tutorial. Now we are interested in finding the voltage across resistor R1, R2 and R3 and the current through them. So let the current through the circuit be I and the voltage across R1, R2, R3 be V1, V2, V3. So the I or the current value will be 0 0.5 milliamperes and the voltage value has to be 2 volt, 3 volt and 4 volt. When we try to realize the calculated value and the simulated value, it matches. You can see which is 
2 volt, 3 volt and 4 volt and we have realized the KVL theorem. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.